White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders has been holding a lot of press briefings lately, but I don't think all the questions we need answered have been asked. So we decided to hold another one right here, right now. That's right, Sarah Huckabee Sanders and the Late Night Press Corps are here in our studio and ready to go. So without further ado, it's time for the Late Night White House Press Briefing. Yes, Miss Sanders, Miss Sanders, Miss Sanders. Yes, yes, thank you. Seth Myers, late night with Seth Myers. Secretary Sanders, what are the most terrifying nine words in the English language? The president will still be here in five years. <laughs> Next question What does Trump ask for when he goes into supercuts? Upside down and inside out. Secretary Sanders, did you have a nice Thanksgiving? I want to share a few things that I'm thankful for, and uh, I think it would be nice for you guys to do so as well. Okay, I'm thankful we can use clever editing to make this nightmare of an administration sound silly. You're not fixing the problem. You're only making things worse. That's fair. What did Eric Trump say when he showed up for Thanksgiving dinner? Happy Halloween. Oh. So close. So close. <laughs> when was the last time someone tried to, jump the, uh, tried to jump the White House fence, and who was it? This afternoon, the First Lady and Baron Trump. Mm. <laughs> if Melania could trade places with any person, who would it be? All of us in this room and across this country. But given her choice, what would be Melania's dream job? As a single mother. If I can switch the focus to the Democratic Party for a second, how did a young Bernie Sanders first arrive in Washington, D.C.? Via horse-drawn wagon. <laughs> how often does the president lie on Twitter? For the third or fourth time just today, as well as 10 or 15 times on both Thursday and Friday of last week. How would you describe Ivanka? Very basic. <laughs> what does Paul Ryan think about while he's having sex? President Reagan's 1981 tax cuts. <laughs> Who's worse, Bill Cosby or Bill O'Reilly? Both bills achieve the president's priorities. Who do you call when Steve Bannon gets loose and is running around the White House? The Fish and Wildlife Service. How does the president's urologist describe Donald Trump? A small business owner. Well, it looks like we're out of time, so on behalf of the rest of the press corps, have a great night.